Hey guys, Zach Gardner with VHT, and today I wanted to show you the VHT 1500 Automated Gladiator. So if you guys have followed our previous videos on the previous version of this machine, you'll notice a couple new features. For this version, we have a digital potentiometer to accurately control the gear motor that spins the turntable. So we can get an accurate representation of what our turntable speed is on this machine. And to adjust, you just hit the button for up, you hit the down button to decrease the speed. Two things that this machine also has, we have an air dry off. We also have an external rinse. That way, if the internal rinse does not completely rinse the part, or you want to wash all your media down back into the hopper, you can just use this. By standard, this machine always comes closed loop. Previously, we had four guns in this machine. Now, we're running one large gun that has a one inch slurry inlet, and then also a one inch air inlet. That way we can get the most out of our CFM and our compressor that we're running, and all of the slurry is being focused to one gun instead of being distributed to four different guns. Also, we have a seven inch HMI display where it will show the time it takes to do a job. You have an operation options page which, ha which has your blast options as far as Z-axis motion. And then you also have media options. So you can choose between different medias that will time your pinch valve to certain times. So say, if, you're, if I'm using a heavier media, then like 20 to 70 mesh, I would just click the 20 to 70 mesh button. Same thing for 70 to 170 mesh. That's kind of a mid-grade, it's, it's not super light, it's not super heavy. If we wanna do really light medias, like 170 to 1200 mesh and up, then just click that. All of these have different calculated times for your overflow release. So if we want to start a blast initiation in this machine, what we'll do is go to our operation options. I want to do rotary step. So I'm gonna click on rotary step. I'm gonna enter the part height. And approximately what I would say that this part is currently right now, I would say it's about 13 inches. And that's 13 inches tall. I want to step up one inch Rinse time, we'll do a short rinse time of 10 seconds. I want it to rotate one time before it steps up. And then we want it to run one cycle. To make this work, we engage it, go back, make sure that we are engaged and turn our heater on. We also want to adjust our digital potentiometer for our turntable speed. I'm gonna change it to a one. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna start the cycle. 